Welcome to the Dave Show. My name is Dave, and today I'm here to talk about this keypad fingerprint door lock. Now, this door lock could be put at the front door, or back door, or side door, or any kind of exterior door. Now, the company did send me this product for review, but they wanted me to show you what comes with it, how to install it, and how to program the uh, your keypad numbers and your fingerprints or thumbprints. So, there's a lot going on in this video. Stay tuned to the end so you can see how this whole thing works. But let's go ahead and first and take a look and see what comes in the package. Okay, you are going to get an instruction a manual with it and also an installation guide. Now, this is pretty cool if you have a door that does not have a hole drilled in it yet. So, if now if you're replacing a deadbolt, then not a big deal. If you need to install a, a hole in a deadbolt into a door, this is your guide of how you can you tape this up on the door and you can drill. You have to have your drills and so forth on there. So if you if you don't have a hole for this, you will have to get some tools, a hole saw and some other things like that uh, to make this happen. Otherwise, a just standard screwdriver is all you need to install this. Okay, here's everything you're gonna get in the package. Now you're gonna get a package here of um, some screws. These are screws and bolts, some things that are very important to put those together, so don't lose any of this stuff. Also some adapters and your uh, striking plates here. So there's a striking plate that goes into the, the door where this goes here, and also one into the frame, and also some other adapters. So you get a lot of stuff there. Now you do also get some keys. This does have a, a keyhole for your traditional way of getting in and out. Um, this is your uh, locking part of it itself that goes into the uh, you know the slides out of the, the deadbolt part of it and now this is adjustable depending on the size of the door that you have um, or the, 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 the back set um, that you have drilled in there so it's adjustable um, this is a mounting plate that helps mount this unit uh, this is the inside part of it that you can lock and unlock your door from the inside. Now you also need four AA batteries. This is battery operated there. Oh, the other thing on here too is you get a um, you get a little pin, a little reset pin, basically, so you can reset the codes in case if you have to uh, get in there to do that. And then of course this is the uh, a cover that goes on there. Now they do have a little scan code here for installation and program guide as well, um, but all the information is listed inside the manual. And this is the outside of the lock. It's a nice um, kind of a brushed nickel, and they make different colors, of course. Um, and then your keypad and your fingerprint scanner is there. And then, of course, on the inside, this is the, the parts, of course, you don't see because it's going to be installed, and the cable that connects the inside to the outside there. So that's everything that you get into the package. The next step is to install this and then program the unit. Okay, the first thing we're going to start with is, is a hole in your door. So again, if you don't have the hole in your door, you're going to have to drill it. If you're taking a, a, a handle or a deadbolt off, then it's a lot easier to do. Now, um, I'm starting off with the um, this little piece here, and it does say um, which way is up, so make sure you go the right up way. Now, I did have to extend this out because when I put this in there, it wasn't centered. This little um, slot here has to be centered into... Um, the doors uh, into this area right here. So you want to make sure that you can do that and then we're going to just screw this into the door. Okay, once you have that little piece in and the plate screwed onto it, you're going to take this uh, keypad part of it to on the outside of the door and you're going to run this up little cord up underneath here. So I'm just going to thread that through the hole and I'm going to put the, the little pin part of it it's like a little stick, a little metal stick, through the little slot. There you go, just like that. So it uh, just kind of goes right in there and holds into place. Now the back of it looks like that, where the cable coming out and the little pin coming out. And that's where we're going to attach this other piece. So now that you're going to take the plate and you're going to run the cable through the little slot here in the bottom, just like that. And you're going to put this up here. Now, it's going to line up the, the holes and everything through here. And these bolts will go through and tighten. Now, before you tighten it all completely, you want to make sure that it is uh, straight, pretty much straight on there. It looks pretty good for that. And you can lock it down a little tighter. 
Now this is the inside piece and that's going to go into here. Now there is a, a little connector that the cable has to go into. So you have to attach the cable to this and then you have to uh, make sure that this uh, um, part lines up with the little stick in there because that's what turns this over. So you want to make sure it's in the unlocked position. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. Make sure that's in the unlocked position. Pop it in there like that. So what that does is it actually will line up everything. And there's a two little screws here and a little screw here. That takes these tiny, tiny little screws. So um, we're going to put those together. So there you go. That's the inside piece. Now you also want to test it to make sure that you can lock it, unlock it just like this. That part works perfectly fine. So now we're going to put the batteries in and program the unit. And also remember there is a keys available. So you do need to put your key in and give it a test lock you see that turned green uh it's red it turns red when it's locked and green when it's unlocked just like that so the keys work fine you want to check those out first so on this lock there's there's three ways to unlock the door you can use the key you can use the uh, thumbprint or fingerprint or you can use the keypad to unlock it now to lock it of course you can also use the key here right right now it's unlocked and you can just press and hold two buttons at the same time for a couple seconds and it automatically locks they also have an auto feature to lock this that once you unlock it, within 30 seconds, it will automatically lock for you. So if you don't want to remember to have to lock your door, as soon as you um, unlock it, 30 seconds later, it'll auto lock. Uh, that's in the auto lock setting. If you set it to that, you don't need to do that. Um, or again, you just press those two buttons. Now the master code on this, the temporary code is uh, one through nine. So to unlock it, I'm gonna just show you, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hit that button there and it unlocks. So before you can program your own numbers in it, your own keypad numbers, you do have to change the master code, which is the one through eight. Um, you have to change that. Now they don't allow you to do um, a few different numbers. You can't do one through eight and you can't do eight backwards to one. Um, and they don't want you to do like, Two, 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 two. So you got to come up with your own number. Now the manual does give you a whole list of how to do it, how to change your numbers, how to change the master code, how to add a user code, um, how to delete a code. Uh, what else we got in here? Um, how to add users' fingerprints, uh, delete fingerprints, silent mode, auto lock feature, set auto lock time delay. Um, add a one-time code. You can actually put a one-time code in here. So if you have someone that needs to come to the house and you want them just to have the code once, you can do that. It's a one-time only code. And then also a vacation mode. So um, there's there's a lot of different ways and different codes you can do to set up in this type of lock. And it's all here in the instructions. So I'm going to go ahead and reset the master code. Okay. Press one, enter new code. Uh, let's go one, two, three, one, two, three. Hit that button. One, two, three, one, two, three. There you go. So now if we lock it, and I want to hit the master code, one, two, three, one, two, three, at the top. There you go. So see, it's very simple to reset the master code. Now to uh, um, to set up the other codes, you do the same thing for user codes. And then for the fingerprints, let's try it. So we'll go one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, and that. We're going to press four. And then we're going to do a fingerprint. I'll do my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's it. Now, I, I moved my finger around a little bit so it gets a different uh, scan on different ways. So now let's go ahead and do this again. Let's, let's go ahead and lock it. And we're going to try my fingerprint to unlock it. Just like that, it works perfectly well. So again, you can add up to 20 codes and 20 fingerprints, thumbprints, whatever it is you want to in this lock to make it work. So there you have it, a detailed video of this fingerprint keypad lock. You can see it's fairly simple to install and set up. So if you're looking for a nice keypad deadbolt lock like this, that you can use your fingerprint to unlock it. This one may be the right one for you.